Good morning students, I am Pavan, your science master. Today I would like to speak to 7th standard students. Students, we have been talking the chapter motion and time. In the chapter, we have completed introduction part of the chapter and we have understood what is motion and what is rest with various examples. Now in this video, I would like to explain about what is uniform motion and what is non-uniform motion. In the previous class, I have explained you about what is uniform motion, okay? Let us revise once again about that. See students, uniform motion, the meaning in the word itself you can understand. Uniform, uniform means what? Equal form, equal format, okay students? uniform motion the moment is in equal form okay based on what based on the equal time intervals the moment of object that is in equal distances okay the object covers equal distances in equal time intervals Okay, once again let me write the definition of uniform motion on the board students. Uniform motion If an object covers or moves equal distances in equal time intervals ok students see if an object covers or moves equal distances in equal time intervals can you give a best example for this uniform motion yeah if you take clock the hands in the clock they move equal distances in equal time intervals okay the moment of hands like minutes hand you take hours hand you take seconds hand also you take what are the hands present in a clock seconds minutes and hours hands if you take the moment of these hands in the clock they move equal distances equal distance in equal time intervals of course that is a clock that which shows time but the moment we have to think about the moment of the hands particularly in that clock okay the moment is equal distances in equal time intervals that's all and uh, uh, if you uh, in the previous class I have explained about that uh, a moment of car that moment you know that covers equal distance that moves equal distances in equal time intervals for example the vehicle the car moves 2 meters per second and in the next second also that moves 2 meters in the next second also that moves 2 meters so if an object moves same distances that may be 2 meters that may be 5 meters that may be 1 meter that may be x meters distance in equal time intervals so then that object is said to be in uniform motion and there is a table related to uniform motion you try to understand the table will be displayed on the screen you can see there yeah if you observe the table the table is with two columns in first column 
टाइम इन सेकंड्स एंड इन सेकंड कॉलम डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल्ड ओके इन फर्स्ट कॉलम टाइम इन सेकंड्स एंड इन सेकंड कॉलम डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल्ड सी इन फर्स्ट जीरो सेकंड्स जीरो सेकंड्स इन द सेंस द ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट इन मोमेंट दट इज द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड इज जीरो मीटर्स and in 10th second that moved 150 meters and in 20th second that moved 300 meters and 30th second that moved 450 meters and 40th second that moved 600 meters see students if you uh, observe the moment of the vehicle if you observe the moment of the object if you observe the distance covered by the object you see first 0 meters 150 meters 300 meters and 450 meters finally 600 meters if you observe this table the difference between two successive time intervals there is 10 seconds and the difference in between two successive points of the distance is 150 meters yes now you can understand the object is moving per each 10 seconds that is moving 150 meters okay per each 10 seconds you remember that per for each 10 seconds the the object is moving 150 meters yes or no yes like this you can understand the uniform motion of the object the best example is wall clock hands sorry <coughs> hands of wall clock or wrist watch you take the hands in a watch you try to understand the example the hands in a watch or clock that moves equal distances and if you take the moment of earth if you take the moment of uh, you know the planets hmm they also move equal distances in equal time intervals so that is why we are getting day and night in a fixed manner okay right like that and the next con next concept the same related to this is i want you to change the definition here non uniform motion what is non uniform motion can you guess what is non uniform motion you just change the definition here if an object covers what different distances you can say different distances in equal time intervals the time is fixed the gap in between the second and second and second is always fixed so that you have to take equal time intervals and then the moment of the object you know that if an object covers different distances here i said right uh each 10 seconds you take in uniform motion that covered 150 meters right but here on each 10 seconds first 10 seconds that may move 100 meters and second 10 seconds that may move 150 meters 
and third second that may also uh, move um, again 100 meters and on fourth se fourth tenth seconds that may move 250 meters like this the distance will be different you know the distance will be different so you can say an object covers or moves different distances in equal time intervals then the object is said to be in non uniform motion a table will be displayed on the screen students you can observe the table and you can get understanding of what is non uniform motion students okay yeah see in first column time in seconds 0 10 20 30 40 the the the, the time difference is same but the distance covered by the object or distance traveled by the object is different you know in first 0 seconds the distance is 0 meters and on 10th second that moved 50 meters and again 20th second that moved 90 meters and what is the difference from 50 to 90 the distance covered by the object is 40 meters right and in first 10 seconds that covered 50 meters but in next 10 seconds that moved 40 meters and if you take next 10 seconds that moved around 90 meters okay the distance uh, between 10th and 30th second if you take the difference of the distance covered by the object is 180 minus 90 again 90 meters of course okay and at the 40th second if you see 230 meters so then what will be the distance covered by the object in 40th second 50 meters because 230 minus 180 the distance covered by the object is 50 meters there students like this if you uh, observe the distances with respect to the equal time intervals then you will be able to understand what is uniform motion and what is non-uniform motion students and this is for this video students thank you for listening and thank you one and all